It's almost like there's a disconnection between them. Hi everyone, welcome back to No Light Tower. My name is Hallie, so grateful to have you all. Um, this is where I make predictions. I pull different energies from the tower to see what we can learn from situations. So this is not fact-based. It is intuitive-based, so please treat it as such. Okay, so this was requested. It's about Robert Patterson and Suki Waterhouse. If you want to request a video, please make sure that you subscribe. Write in the comment section, subscribe, and the video you would like. I only take videos from subscribers so that they stay to watch. You stay to watch the video, and also so that we grow the community. Okay, so like I said, it's intuitive based. I've pulled up the chart, and for Robert Patterson, I get Sun in Taurus, Moon in Cancer, and Rising in Taurus. So double Taurus, interesting. And Suki Waterhouse. Couldn't find her rising, but I got Sun and Capricorn and Moon and Capricorn. So it's very, very interesting to double Earth signs. I did meet Suki Waterhouse a long time ago. Um, she was with Bradley Cooper. And I will tell you the story one day, but I got the sense that she felt kind of like intimidated by him. Now, Bradley Cooper... Um, actually went to school with one of my exes which is very funny um but he i think he's 76 76 anyways she's around my age i think she's like a year or two younger than i am and at the time it was a long time ago it was like almost no it was like eight years ago when they were dating and she just seemed like very uh child like it was quite sad anyway so I will tell you the story one day because I don't want to speak ill of Bradley Cooper just yet. Okay, so let's get into it. I'm put, I'll pull up the past, the present, the future. And with the past being Ace of Pentacles, Page of Wands, and Ace of Swords. So I have a strong feeling that they, <sighs> this is, obviously with earth signs very much about money i can kind of see them thinking about it being very strategic which is very taurus and capricorn you know those two signs are very oriented around money and who can help me build and grow and there's nothing wrong with that but i just think that the intention for their relationship is not very genuine so at the present being knight of cups and seven of wands and four of swords it's almost like there's a disconnection between them as though you know because sticky waterhouse is a model and i feel like there's this energy of like she and even when i met her i got this very like stoic presence with her and i can see that i feel like he's more in love with the version of her that she portrays than who she actually is i don't think he actually really understands and knows her quite yet um i haven't really been paying attention to the relationship because i really don't i only do these because of it's an example for public as a public example and we can learn from the situation so i don't really pay attention to these like gossip columns and stuff i do feel like housewives <laughs> But other than that, I don't really pay attention. But I strongly see here that he wants to connect more with her, but she's very icy. And it could also be a cultural thing, you know, she's being British and, um, and that. So with the future being the Tower, Five Pentacles and Five Wands. Okay, so I don't see it lasting that much longer. I get February, so I feel like they're going to break up either this february or next he is batman i love batman it's my favorite or and i feel as though it's going to be i get the strong sense she comes from a family that has a lot of money in england and i don't know this about her but i just got this feeling right now that she comes from a family with money and they are very um they like to dictate who she marries who she's with and they kind of look down upon him they feel like she can do better and with the strength card being at the boss of the deck i strongly feel like they've both they're both very strong personalities and they want different things 
they want different things and they're not willing to admit it because I feel like they've gotten a lot publicly from this relationship but I don't see it lasting that much longer so the five ones the magician and oppression interesting there's this energy of combative energy between the two of them it's like I have a strong feeling that they thought it would last they thought they thought this relationship would be smoother than it is right now and I think because of that king of wands he's already on to somebody else I have a strong feeling with the empress he's already on to somebody else and let's see who this other person is she's uh, another model we might not know about her but there's definitely somebody else I don't think anything physical has happened yet he's not that kind of person but there's definitely somebody else yeah okay so with the universe justice three of pentacles yes so he thought he could build more with her than he is he's a builder and especially being Taurus he's Taurus right yes especially being Taurus Taurus love to build and he wants to build as his moon in cancer he wants to build like a family and she she's very icy about it she's like mm, you know I get the sense she has pretty girl syndrome a pretty girl syndrome is like when they're never really satisfied with what they have you know and five swords ace of pentacles He's going to move on to somebody else. He's basically already done with this. So pulled a card for healing and it says courage. Let me be open to be courageously, to courageously take the steps that are shown. So hope you enjoy that. Please subscribe. I love you all. Like the video, share, shares, please. And take care.